In this video, I'm going to give you five Airbnb tips for hosts. What's up, guys? In this video, I want to share with you guys five Airbnb tips for hosts that I wish I would have known when I first started my first property on Airbnb. All right. So tip number one, do your research. Here's what I mean by that. Do your research before you buy or lease or long-term lease a property with the thoughts of putting out that property on Airbnb. The reason that you want to do your research is you want to see what's the marketplace look like for that place, like for that area that you want, or at least you plan to get a property up on, on Airbnb. And the reason for that is location is everything. Now, some neighborhoods are definitely greater in terms of, you know, a best location, best, like maybe ease of getting to like downtown, like especially if I'm talking about Boston or LA, New York, like all the big cities. So it's important to do your research, number one, or Airbnb, like go on Airbnb and start scrolling and see what are the first 10 to 20 listings that show up from a consumer standpoint. So be a consumer first, like before you are a host, you want to be a consumer. So sign up for an Airbnb account and start doing your research in a couple of cities in your local area, of course, or at least in the area that you want to put up a property for Airbnb. So do your research on Airbnb first. So the first place that you want to do your research is Airbnb. The second that you want to do your research is AirDNA. That's um, an app that it's specifically for this type of business. And that app is going to give you some reports and it's going to allow you to do some really in-depth research on what's the potential earning for, you know, a property that you want to try to put up for Airbnb. If you're trying to get a one bedroom place versus a three bedroom with two baths, it's important to do your research before and don't just jump in. So start as a consumer, go on Airbnb and start looking for properties to book in the cities that you want to host. All right. Number one, do it on Airbnb. Number two, do it on AirDNA.com. And I'll make sure that I'll put the links in the description below for you guys to make sure to um, check it out. Number two is the moment you're done with the research, you want to go to step two. So step two is use great furniture. Now, when I say great furniture, I don't necessarily mean expensive furniture. I mean furniture that looks great with the type of, you know, with the type of paint, with the type of color that the house brings. And you want to make sure that you stand out. So again, going back to your research, start scrolling to the, to the pictures that you see with the listings and see what, you know, what gets your attention and start writing them down. Make sure you, you know, you can make a sheet, you can make an Excel sheet, you can make whatever app you want to use. Asana, I use Asana every time when I do my research. Um, and I make sure that I list all the things in there. But great furniture will grab attention uh, and, and it'll, it'll help you stand out on the marketplace. So again, going back to your research and see what sticks out to you, like why you stopped on that and you didn't stop on the rest. Go as a consumer, but have the mindset of the host, because when you start doing that, it's going to be so much easier for you to actually uh, understand that concept. So great furniture means, doesn't mean again, doesn't mean expensive furniture. It means furniture that really, you know, catches the attention of the consumer, especially from a, from a listing standpoint. All right. Tip number three, photography or professional photography. So make sure you take professional photos of your listing. So, you know, once you did your research, you put up your property, you did. Uh, you brought great furniture in. Now is the time to take great photos. I cannot stress this enough. The moment that um, I started looking to um, to the Airbnb app and through AirDNA, well, AirDNA doesn't show you pictures of the furniture inside. It's going to be uh, Airbnb that will give you that information. But I've seen a lot of amateurs. Like you know, you can get photographers from Yelp or Tumtac.com or a bunch of other uh, places, or even on Google, but or you can even post on your Facebook wall and ask for recommendations. Photographers will charge you anywhere between 70 to 150 bucks to 200 bucks 
whatever, you know, depending how many bedrooms you got, how many bathrooms and all that stuff. But you do not want to be cheap with photos because those are the ones that will stick out. Again, everything goes back to the research. When you go back to the research and you scroll to the app and see what gets your attention, I guarantee that it's going to be the picture because it's going to stand out from the rest of the crowd. Number four, don't compete on price. On price. Marion, what do you mean? Is it um, Airbnb just whoever gets the property on a cheaper price is going to win? No. Is the property that gets the most attention. So again, if you know how to optimize your title, description, and all that to show up in the searches, and then not just like the views are not necessarily the most important thing. It's the amount of people that take a look at your uh, property, and then they book or save the property from the app. This tip right here, it's worth it more than $10,000. The reason for that is you'll see a lot of, and I don't have a course on Airbnb, uh, but it's a lot of people that will give you advice on how to rank your property, but they won't tell you the secret. So it's important that the conversion rate is the most important. So the two type of conversions, right, is how many people actually are able to see the to see your listing when they search for that. And number two is how many people are actually booking from the people that are seeing. Because if your listing is optimized for searches, but Airbnb realizes that, oh crap, this property got a thousand views this month, but nobody bought, like nobody converted. Well, something's wrong with it. Let's push it back in the, you know, it's almost like, where is the easiest way to hide a dead body? Well, it's on page two of Google because nobody gets on page two. It's the same thing on Airbnb. Nobody gets on page two on Airbnb, if that's even a thing, because you have to scroll like all the way down to like to really see you know, the bottom listings. So make sure you, um, you, you keep an eye out for that because it doesn't matter how well you optimize the um, listing if people are not converting. So don't compete on price, make an offer out of it, right? Like focus on creating almost an experience bundled in an offer. Make sure you offer some extra things that your competitor listings are not offering, right? Make sure you add some things in there. I'm not saying that you should be doing breakfast every morning, but make sure you list a few um, a few amenities that other people don't have and just focus on getting them in there. You know, add a PS4 maybe, add a pool table if possible, add um, a ping pong table, add anything that's different. Like if you realize that all the properties, like recently our newest acquisition is, and I'm not saying that you'll be doing this like in the next week or two or a month or whatever. But for example, we did a research and in Boston, it's the first casino that has been, you know, uh, launching the city after I don't know how many years of fighting with authorities and stuff. And then we looked at the cities around that and we realized that it was just 1%. So one out of 100 properties that were up listed for Airbnb that had a pool. And that was mind blowing to us. And then of course, we went hunting. So, and then our property, it's basically, it's going to be the second percent. So the 2% now, it's going to be uh, the property on Airbnb that has a pool in those, in a pretty wide, actually in a pretty wide area. So don't compete on price, compete on the offer. Make sure you you bundle up a great offer and then list them all. You know, list, hey, we offer you uh, um, water and chocolate and, and shampoo and, and towels and all like add a bunch of things that even though you may think they're common sense, they're not common sense for everybody. So make sure you list them all up and you can even add, like this is my marketing knowledge coming up in here. You can even add the value dollar amount to those and just make sure that at the end of those, you. Um, in the description, you list them all out for people to actually see like, oh crap, like even though this uh, this listing is charging more, they offer so much more. Like people are all in. And then again, at that price, if I mean, at that offer, you're going to select the audience. Like people that you don't want in your property, those people will just weed themselves out right away. So four and five kind of work hand in hand. And this is um, one that really worked very well for us, use gifts. What do I mean by that? Well, gifts, anything like little things that will grab attention to, um, to your guests. Everything that you can leave 
at the place, you know, small little gifts, you know, go to the dollar store and just order some, uh, some things. It can be anything. People will appreciate a gift all day long. So I can, uh, I cannot stress this enough. This helped, you know, helped a lot with reviews. And of course, everything that I mentioned in here, like the fact that we get, we got great furniture, help the photos be even greater because it was great because of the fact that we did the research. Now we are able to charge um, 40% more than our competitors in the listing, right? The competing price, we make sure that our property had a lot of amenities listed in there. Use gifts. A lot of people, you know, review the property with five stars after that. So make sure you do that because the moment you do it is going to stick out and people will appreciate that. And guys, if you love this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments and don't go anywhere. Start watching the next video coming up right here. What I actually put together a complete tutorial on how you can actually start listing your property on Airbnb. So don't go anywhere and I'll see you in the next video.